What's the number one ingredient responsible for the vast majority of chronic health conditions we're seeing today? Take a wild guess. It's sugar. Sugar is a drug, and remember that phrase because it's something you will not hear often. Sugar is mainly the one responsible for causing problems in your liver, pancreas, circulation, and one of the most likely to cause diabetes, fatty liver disease, and even obesity. In synthesis, a substance you should be knowing how much to consume before it's too late. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal six of the most important signs that indicate you're eating too much sugar and how to reverse this naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, treat my patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of important quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay to the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. According to the Dietary Guidelines for Americans, the average American consumes 270 calories of added sugar per day. That's 17 teaspoons per day. I quite frankly don't understand how people can have so much sugar. I barely consume two teaspoons per day. Now it's no wonder how most of the human population ends up being sick before they're 40. The amount of sugar they consume is absurd. If we knew how to recognize the signs that indicate we're consuming too much sugar, maybe, just maybe, we would change the way we eat. So in today's video, I'm gonna reveal six of the most important signs that indicate you're eating too much sugar and how to reverse this naturally and effectively. Number one, you're hungry all the time. Believe it or not, if you're hungry all the time, you might be eating too much sugar. You see, most people don't know that sugar tends to build up inside our system. After, obviously, a certain amount of time, we're consuming it. This is usually known as an insulin resistance due to the excessive amount of sugar we might be eating. Basically, our body is not being able to use up the sugar we are ingesting and the body starts to ask for more and more, slowly building up a vicious cycle that doesn't have an end. What's basically happening is that our cells are always hungry and the body is always asking for more. Nevertheless, it has it already. Now, the only way to fix this is done by exercising and reducing the amount of sugar you're eating per day. The body will slowly absorb the glucose you already have in your system, asking for less and less as time goes by. If you need a good quality supplement formula that you can use to improve sugar control and your metabolic rate, look for Metaglucose and Metathyroid from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number two, foods don't taste sweet enough. If you're feeling like you need to add more sugar to what you're eating, maybe drinks or food, you have to be careful because you might have a problem. Remember that sugar is a drug. The more you eat, the more you crave for it. This might be something we recognize when we are with our friends. We see that other people might not be eating as much sugar, and then we think, you know, maybe I'm eating too much of it. So be careful. If this is happening to you, you might be eating too much sugar. Now, a good way to start eliminating that sugar you're eating is by eliminating processed foods in your diet, which typically contain an absurd amount of sugar, added sugar that you don't really need. If you need a good quality formula that can help you improve your metabolic rate, your cravings for food and sugar, look for Figurizer and Appleizer from Finland at DrLandivar.com. Number three, irritability. If you're feeling moody, maybe on the edge with, you know, stress or more stress than you really need to have, this could be a sign that you're eating too much sugar. A study published in January of 2020 in the Journal of Medical Hypotheses suggested that eating added sugar can promote inflammation, worsen mood, and lead to symptoms of depression. This is especially true if you're not exercising and the body is building up glucose that it doesn't really have the capability of using. Most people don't know that physical activity makes sure that you burn everything you have in circulation. Now, the important thing is to pay attention when you're feeling off, okay? When you're feeling moody, maybe more stressed than you really have to, that does not indicate you are healthy. You might be having or taking too much sugar and you need to reduce that every single day as time goes by. 
If you need something natural that can help you improve your mood and irritability, look for 5-HTP and melatonin from Vineland at drlandivar.com. Number four, a foggy brain or poor memory. Yes, problems with mental clarity, focus or concentration, and even memory loss can result from the consumption of too much sugar. Now, although glucose is the brain's primary source of fuel, excessive amounts can cause high blood glucose levels, have inflammatory effects in the brain, and negative impacts on cognitive function and mood. If you don't believe me, according to research, impairments with information processing speed or memory and the attention of people were found to be diminished in people with diabetes or hyperlysemia if you want. And now the same thing is true in people without diabetes. People who consume too much sugar have problems with memory loss. They have problems in using that glucose they're eating because the body is building up that insulin resistance or building up that use in our brains. Now, all of this has a direct correlation with thyroid function also. Your thyroid has to work and burn the sugar you have in your system in order for your memory to work. Number five, you have sleep issues. Everybody knows that eating too much sugar before bedtime is not a good idea. Curiously enough, the same thing happens with carbohydrates, which is basically no more than sugar converted inside your system. According to a study of 300 university students published in 2019, poor sleep quality is significantly related to the higher consumption of added sugars. In other words, it becomes a vicious cycle. If you eat too much sugar, you won't sleep. And if you don't sleep, you will eat too much sugar. And the list goes on and on. Now, for someone who's chronically consuming excessive amounts of added sugar, their sleep and wake cycle can be a real mess. What I suggest you do is try gradually to remove your sugar from your diet exercising at the same time so that the sugar you have already in your system can be used. As time goes by, your body will gradually help improve that sugar consumption and help improve sleep quality and mood overall. Number six, weight gain. What happens if you eat too much or especially if you eat too much sugar? Well, you gain weight. As simple as that. Now the problem is that things can get a lot worse because if you're consuming a lot of extra calories through added sugars, you have an increased hunger also. It becomes a vicious cycle. Once again, if you have more hunger, you eat more sugar. If you eat more sugar, you have more hunger and it things, the thing just goes on and on forever. Now apart from this, the human body has a way of storing all the sugar you're eating as a way of storing it in fat. People who do not eat healthy, with obviously no protein, no fiber, no healthy fats, will gain more weight. So think about twice about eating more sugar. You don't really need it. What you need is for your body to use what you are eating already. So exercise and start decreasing the amount of sugar you're eating every single day. Very, very important. And help out the channel by giving these with a thumbs up and sharing with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below. We'll be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line at a point, visit doctorlandivar.com and check out these other videos related to this topic and information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.